From Wall Street to Main Street, this is LA Late. It's a big evening of Evenings LA with incredible great news about your fourth stimulus check update of 2022. For April 26, 2022, this is the breaking news and this is America's most watched show for financial news in prime time. New stimulus checks have gone out from not just one place, but multiple places. And in this recording, we'll go over the direct depositing of those four stimulus checks. It's incredible great news. We'll be looking at the Build Back Better Act that got a major surprise today from who else but Joe Manchin. Then we'll be turning back to that SS300, a major developing details across the board as the Federal Reserve is tightening with a half basis point increase in the next FOMC meeting. But what happens after that? Today, we had all indications we're heading into a bear market. Because guess what? The stock market took another tumble for another day. Down 900 points on Friday, then another 600 points throughout much of today. What does this mean for you? What does this mean for this economy? I have the latest details as the economy continues to stall up. But with a stalling up economy and the housing numbers slumping, auto sales down and energy prices out of control, that could signal big push to get Build Back Better done. All the latest details from the shores of Santa Monica and the West Coast tonight. Then we heat up the credible details of that student loan debt forgiveness. More debt has been forgiven and more debt would be forgiven thereafter because the White House now says complete student loan debt forgiveness is on the table. It's huge news and we have the latest details on that front as well. Then, is the U.S. economy shrinking? Is GDP really getting that bad? Is supply chain out of control? And is the economy going into a recession for two years? All the latest details tonight. Over the next one hour broadcast from the shores of Santa Monica, California, we have a lot to go over. A lot of money, a lot of checks. And what's important to know is that if we do have a bear market, if we do have a recession, I'll be here you with you every step of the way. But no need to worry tonight because major checks have landed. From the shores of Santa Monica, California, the breaking news, the big financial news that America wants starts right now. Good evening, everybody. Hope you're having a beautiful night. It is April 26, 2022 from the shores of Santa Monica, California. Big night across the board as Joe Manchin gives a new twist to the Build Back Better Act today. Uh, the latest twist on that. Then Jay Powell has that half basis point increase for that inflationary, recessionary interest rate push. But is he going to get it wrong? And what happens thereafter? I have the latest details that impacts your benefits if you're on Social Security. You would like $300 more per month. I'll have the latest details across the board. And then we compare the both that and also the pay and also the Build Back Better Act, a new bear market potentially happening as the stock market continues to erode. What does this mean for your money? And what does it mean for you looking good? All the latest details across the board tonight. And then we go to those other economic data that came out today, and then finally six stimulus. As we run into a new week, could the economic data get worse or could it get better? From the shores of Santa Monica, California, I'm excited you're here. This, my friends, is Evening's Alalite. Tonight, we have a lot of breaking news to start with. For April 26, 2022, over the next one-hour broadcast, stay the very end because I have a lot of checks later in this recording, and I have a lot of great news for you later in this recording. So stay over, stay with me over this one-hour extended broadcast. Then, also don't forget to become a member because now the membership newsletter has a lot more than just one check in there. That link to become a member is at the top of the video. Become a Purple Hawk, Purple Power, or Calcino VIP. And then get that incredible newsletter Monday through Friday, 7 p.m. Pacific Standard Time via the YouTube alert system. Tonight, let's go into the breaking news that starts first with the Build Back Better Act. 
It's what people normally thought of Build Back Better as the Force Symbols Recon. But later in this video, we're going to see that there's two other Force Symbols Recons now that are paying out checks. Not Recons, but Force Stimulus. And they're huge. The breaking news on the bill that's in the Senate, referred to as the Build Back Better Act or the Force Symbols Recon, is that Joe Manchin has now introduced another piece of legislation. That other piece of legislation he introduced today is not going to pass. I want to first clarify it to you. But what is it? It is a joint piece of legislation between himself and Lisa Murkowski, the Republican from Alaska. And he's, of course, the, quote, Democrat from West Virginia. This is a climate bill, and it's not going to pass. But why is this bill really helpful, and why is it happening? Joe Manchin's potentially preempting the Build Back Better Act, saying, you want to do climate, do it this way. This is the bill I'm introducing. What's important to understand is that the bill's not going to pass, but I like the bill. Why? Because it gets people talking. It gets people talking to get Build Back Better done, and if people don't like one of the provisions and someone introduced a signed piece of legislation, it works. When did we last see this work? We saw this last work last year when Mitt Romney was introducing a lot of Romney bills to say, do it a little bit differently this way. We knew none of his bills were going to pass, but it helped the discussion. And things got passed. So that's a breaking news across the board on that front today. And then when we turn back to the White House administration, the White House administration, would, of course, which rocketed today with the breaking news of the vice president getting COVID, the subvariant of Omicron now spreading across the United States as well. The latest details of the White House is that it's refocusing its agenda back on the domestic agenda. That is your money. That is Build Back Better Act. Why? Because the White House wants the checks to land in your hand before you vote. When are you going to vote? You're not going to vote on election night. Most people do not vote on election day anymore. They vote by mail. And that means you would have to get the checks back in August because voting by mail may start as early as September. That means he signs into law July. He has the final vote in the Senate June. That means the negotiations finish by May. Here we go. We're right there. Now, the White House insider also said that the U.S. economy is going to shrink to a 3.7% GDP by the end of the year. What does that mean for you? What does it mean for the Build Back Better Act? Let's go over the analysis right now. The GDP is a number that's used to gauge how big an economy is. A positive number means the economy is growing. A negative number means the economy is shrinking or in recession. Now, the White House insider says in a series of new interviews that there will be a 3.7% GDP by the end of the year. This is not good because guess what? Right tonight, the GDP is 6.9%. It means it's going to shrink in the next few months. Wall Street thought the current situation was 7.1%. So imagine we're going from a 7.1% projection to then a 6.9 to then a 3.7 by the end of the year. What does this mean? It means something in the Biden administration is not working. It means something is stalling up in the economy. And that is why you need Build Back Better Act. They always pass stimulus when economies are not doing well. And we're in a bear market tonight by all indications and already with two industries, auto and home, in recession. Stock market taking a tumble tonight, and guess what? It's not done there yet. We're not at the bottom of the stock market. The stock market was down 600 points when I was live on air on Mornings LA today. It was down 900 points last Friday, and many stocks are now trading, trading at their low points of 2021. Yeah, we're at the low points of two years. So this is all good news for a Build Back Better Act, because why? Legislators do stimulus when economies are not doing well. And... As we go into the midterm elections, you're going to see a new twist, which I've never said before until tonight's recording. The new twist is you may see Republicans come on board for the Build Back Better Act. Let me tell you why. There is a game play, game play at issue. If no Republican votes in favor of the Build Back Better Act and it's passed by the Democrats and they send out big checks to the American people, then guess what the Democrats will say at the polls or on election night. Republicans didn't help you again. We helped you. We got you money. If you're a Republican, you don't want that to happen. So what do you do? You look like you're involved in helping people out. And that's why you may get bipartisan passage of the Build Back Better Act. You're hearing this for the first time tonight on this recording. Why? 
this is different than 2020. This is different than 2020. Mitch in 2020 said, economy's not doing well. Nancy said it was doing horrible. Excuse me, let me say that again. Mitch said the economy's doing well. Nancy said it was not doing well. This time around, it's different. Both the local bodies say the economy's stalling up, and they both have to do something. They both have to do something because no one's going to vote this time around in the midterm elections for someone that's not doing something. Now, here's where it gets very interesting. When would the checks land? Well, whatever political party you want or are, you want those checks to land before people vote. That is why they got to get it going right today if they're going to land before you vote. The situation is far from over because then we have the elements of inflation. And tonight, the inflation numbers are potentially higher than ever thought before. And we're potentially not only in a bear market, not only in a inflationary market, but in my opinion, heading into recession. Let's go over the data tonight across the board when we look at the situation unraveling. The White House believes that we're going to shrink to a 3.7% GDP by the end of the year, but what does it say about other economies? It says world economies will also shrink 3.7 for the United Kingdom, 2.5 for South Korea. But the numbers aren't done there yet because tonight we have even more worse numbers. We have supply chain disruption numbers tonight and travel and price inflation troubling numbers tonight as well. What are the breaking numbers for April 26, 2022? Here you go. A new report says that for people who are going to travel this year, what are the dynamics? For households that make $100,000 or more per year, there will be 75% of all respondents say they will take at least one vacation this year. But when the same question is asked of households that made $50,000 this year, less than 56% of those households say they will take a vacation. This shows real price disparity, how the inflationary pressures of travel and leisure that's showing big run-up of prices. Have you seen the airline prices? Have you seen the hotels really running up? That means that lower-income households are just simply not able to afford the vacation or are worried about inflation. The consumer confidence number released earlier today was also a mess, not particularly strong. And supply chain disruptions far from over from there because guess what? You may work for a U.S. business, but that U.S. business may have operations overseas, at least in Europe. And tonight we have major supply chain disruption that I told you was going to happen. We have the U.S. analysts of Wall Street now worried about those corporate earnings for General Motors and also Ford because they think there is major component part disruption. You make a car in Europe for the European market and you don't have the part because of the Putin invasion of Ukraine, this causes major trouble tonight. And that is why J.P. Morgan analyst Ryan Brinkman on a new report today said that commodity prices have since stabilized but remain elevated and volatile and suppliers are surely requesting higher prices across the board. This is going to cause higher prices from Ford and GM and will cause supply chain costs to surge. Bottom line is the businesses will make less money. They may employ less of you or they may actually lay off. Whoa. I'm not referring to those particular businesses in specific, but I'm referring to the entire situation at hand. Jay Powell, what is he doing with this? We already know that Jay Powell will be doing a half basis point increase at the FOMC meeting coming up in May. We already know that guidance. But is Jay Powell doing something more aggressive than that later on? First, this week you're not going to hear from the Federal Reserve governors or Jay Powell speaking because we're in the silence period. But they silenced, ironically, last Friday, that they're absolutely not going to do three quarters of a basis point. Not happening. They're also not going to do half basis point either. Too strong, too weak. They're going to do a half for the time being. Half, not quarter and not three quarters. How many meetings would they do that at? I think there's going to be several meetings. Is it going to work? No, it's not going to work. What does this mean for your benefits if you're on SSI, SSDI, Social Security and Railroad Benefits? First, let's go over the comments from Jay Powell. Jay Powell said before the silence period, it's appropriate in my view to be a little bit moving a little bit more quickly. I think it's important to say we do some front end loading to accommodate what's appropriate. I would say 50 basis point for the meeting at issue. Front end loading means they're going to come in a little bit more aggressively at the front end and then tailor thereafter, meaning they're going to do a half basis point meeting after meeting until they see it work. But is it going to work? No, it's not going to work. This is good news for your SS300. What is SS300? What is SS200? 
not my creation, Joe Biden's creation. In fact, Liz Warren's creation. She had it on the campaign trail. Then Joe Biden had adopted when he ran for president. Then he put in his presidential platform. It's very simple. The concept is swap COLA for inflation, among other provisions that would go in this stimulus, which is not yet started up. The concept of swamp cola for inflation, why does this help you? Every December, your benefits are reassessed based upon cola. Cola is a benchmark that doesn't move. It's generally been a very small number. This last December was 5%. Good. No, not good, because you got cheated. At the time, all last year, I said inflation was going to come in at 8% in December. It did. So you got cheated 8%. You should have been paid. You got 5%. Your benefits went up 5%, not 8%, not just that month, not this, that year, but lifetime. Once your benefits go up, they never go down. So the good news is that if Joe Biden makes that swap from COVID to inflation tonight, you lock it at that 8%. What does it require? A simple phone call. All he has to do is pick up the phone and call the Social Security Administrator head and say, hey, this is your President of the United States. Swap COLA for inflation. Do it tonight. That would lock in 8%. Then if inflation tracks at 4% by the end of the year, you get another $100 on top of that. That's SS300. Has Joe Biden done something like this before? Yes. Not once, but twice. First, he did it last year when he called up Department of Agriculture and said, raise people's SNAP benefits. They're not being paid enough. Became law overnight. Remember, this is an agency. It does not need an act of Congress. It does not need executive order. It just needs a phone call. Then, what was the second one? The President of the United States has recorded, as coming up late in this recording, has made the phone call to Miguel Cardona, head of education, for six executive orders, well, agency changes, in the last seven days. That's all requires, and that's all that is needed for this. Joe, make the call. Hashtag Joe, make the call. If you made the call today, you'd lock in $200 more per month. Then, if it's 4% inflation later this year, another $100 on top of that, SS300. So what is Jay Powell doing with that situation? Is Jay Powell trying to get that inflation down? He is. But the Federal Reserve can't. In my opinion, and I'm not alone in this opinion as well, the inflationary pressures that the Federal Reserve is trying to battle, Jay Powell does not have tools to fix it. Why? Because it's caused by supply chain disruption. That supply chain disruption, folks, nothing that the Federal Reserve has to fix. Tonight, there's not one, not two, but three supply chain disruptions. Let's go over each of them starting right now. The first one was caused by coming out of COVID. The second one is Vladimir Putin and the invasion of Ukraine. The third one tonight is China. And what's at issue is that Jay Powell's not going to get that inflation down, what he thinks he's going to do. And what you're going to be left with? Higher interest rates. More expensive student loan debt, more expensive mortgage payments, more expensive credit card debt, and yet you're still going to have inflation. Now, for purposes of that SS300, this is good for you because if the inflation stays hot, you lock in that $200 more per month. Then $100 later this year, yes. I do not believe that j Powell is going to get down inflation lower than 4%. He thinks he's going to get it to one9 I don't see it happening. That would be another $100 your good across the board. When you combine the two items together, when you combine the poor economic data with the inflationary pressures, with the bear market, with the housing market slumping, you have a lot of bad economic data tonight, folks. And that is why, as we go into a big night across the board, major supply chain inflationary recessionary concerns that is why Build Back Better Act is likely to get passed. The economic data in the last seven days is bad across the board. First, the number of jobs created by that are non-farm payroll was a miss. Then, the auto industry down. The housing industry, four months of housing starts down. Then, when we look at this consumer price index number, whoa, that is surging out of control. It showed that the price escalation of prices like your food went up 1% overall, but fresh fruits and vegetables went up 3%. We're comparing February to March, folks. This is not year-to-date. February to March. When we talk about the price of oil, it went up 11% in one month. Folks, this is out of control. This is not sustainable. 
And that is why the economic data, when you combine it all together, signals that you need a Build Back Better Act. Build Back Better Act is a package detail on this channel over the last few months. That is three clusters of checks, three add-ons of checks that pay about fifteen to eighty thousand dollars. It is a congressional bill that went passed. It's called the Build Back Better Act. It is also also called by slang terms the Force Stimulus Recon, a name I coin on this channel. But tonight, what's important to note is that that Build Back Better Act is not the only fourth stimulus. Tonight, the great news is that there's four stimulus checks landed by direct deposit that have nothing to do with Congress. And here goes the news. First, four stimulus checks are landing by direct deposit from your states. Which states? It's coming up in a second. Number two, the President of the United States is sending out and has landed by direct deposit four stimulus checks by executive order. Those are presidential four stimulus checks. Whoa, these are big. This is big sums of money. And we're just getting started. Let me go over the incredible news that's just starting. We're far from over on this story about those fourth stimulus checks from the states. This is breaking news for April 26. Back last Thursday, out of nowhere, two states, Pennsylvania and Maine, said we're giving a fourth stimulus check to our citizens. Pennsylvania said $2,000. Maine said $800. On that Thursday night broadcast, I immediately featured those two states in the membership newsletter. That's why you want to become a member, because now the membership newsletter includes state for stimulus. What do we call this? What is this check now being referred to? The for stimulus check from the states. It's now being referred to as check D. Check D started with Pennsylvania and Maine proposing or sending out about $2,000 a month. Let's go over the announcement that happened that last Thursday from Governor Tom Wolf of Pennsylvania. Pennsylvania should not have to decide between paying for utilities or groceries or gas. We should have the opportunity and the means to ensure they're we have the opportunity and means to ensure they're not struggling. That means we have money in the state bank account for our citizens. I'm asking my state assembly to move across the political spectrum and get every get money into the hands of every Pennsylvanian for when they succeed, our Commonwealth succeeds. Let's get this money out of the state bank accounts and into the pocket of Pennsylvanians. Whoa, this is huge. So let's go over the broad stroke of it, then the details, and then how you get the money. The broad stroke of this is that the income qualifications, when we're talking about a state stimulus check, is much the same as what we always talked about in Build Back Better and Third Stimulus. Single individual, 75000 or less, you are in the income qualification zone. Married couple, 150000 or less, you are as well. In this case of some states, they double it if it's a married couple. And yes, if you have children sometimes or adult dependents, sometimes they include their check as well. It's important to note that they do not have a separate category for different other types of people. So if you're on SSI or SSDI, you don't, do not ask, do they have a check for me? Well, if you make less than 75000 that's your check. You have the same qualification as someone not on benefits, same income qualification across the board. So what happened? And why did this get so exciting, so wonderful, and so fast-paced? We had Thursday, two states, Pennsylvania and Maine, and that night, I, evening's LA, I said, get ready, because over the next few weeks, I said, more states are going to come forward with their checks as well, or their stimulus as packages. And what happened? In less than 48 hours, other states came forward, and tonight, in less than 48 hours, it's 20 states. We're not done there, because the number of states is expected to grow dramatically. Why am I projecting that the number of states will grow and who will get those checks? Let's go over all the details tonight from the shores of Santa Monica. You're looking at beautiful footage there of actually Manhattan Beach. The details tonight is that the states have the money and they're going to use the money and they're going to give it to you, but different ways in different states. So let's go over the details. It started in 2020, the concept I'm about to record for you, use or lose. It was started by Steve Mnuchin, then Treasury Secretary under Joe, under Donald Trump. He said, I'm giving you money under first stimulus states, but you need to use it or you lose it. Lose it means you return it back to me. You return it back to Department of Treasury, IRS, Treasury Secretary. 
When the third stimulus was passed in early 2021, the American Rescue Plan, Jan Yellen inserted the same provision in there. Use or lose. The situation tonight is really, really good news. Why? Let's go over how much money states were given. One, every state was given the same amount of money based upon the number of residents in the state as the next state. I'll say that again. Every state was given the same amount of money. It was determined by the number of residents of the state. So if your governor's red, your governor's blue, Republican or Democrat, poor state, rich state, makes no part of the equation at issue. They paid the same amount of money to every state based upon the number of citizens. Then, did they overpay? Yes. They generally overpaid the states more too much money. Third, are states having leftover money? Absolutely. How much are states having leftover money? It depends on the state. Some states really have a lot left over and some have less left over. Are any states going to return the money? Absolutely not. No state will ever return the money back to the federal government. They will never lose the money. They will use the money. So then the question is, when do they have to use the money by? They don't have to use it by December. They really have to use it earlier. They got to get you the check in advance. That's using it. So that means they got to get you the check maybe by November. Remember, this is states. So when would that check be talked about and walked about? Right now, let me tell you why. If the check is to go out from the states no later, no later than October, that means the governor of the, of the state has to sign a law by about September or August, means the state legislature, which has two branches, just like Congress, has to vote on one branch in July, the second branch in June, means they have to introduce the bill in May. There you go. The only difference with the states is it's better than the states and the federal government. The states generally do things very quickly because the governor leads the policy. He's the policy maker more than the president. And it's generally that the governor is the same political party in control as the state legislator. So if you see your governor tonight announcing something, that's likely to happen. Now, who gets checks? How much do you get the checks? Where are the checks landing? That's coming up in a second after the commercial break. But what's important for you to know is that all these incredible checks are now featured in one simple place. You know where it is, the membership newsletter. That's why you want to become a member. The link to become a member is at the top of the chat, the pinned comment, and also in the description. Become a member and get that incredible check D for stimulus from your state. Become a Purple Hawk, Purple Power, or Calcino VIP and get that incredible newsletter Monday through Friday, 7 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. The White House is deeply concerned about the shrinking gross national product. And that is why the President of the United States is now sending out his own stimulus checks. Yes, the President of the United States is now, in view of the concerns about interest rates, stagflation, recession, the President of the United States has now already made a law. He has now sent out four stimulus checks, which are landing by direct deposit. And the members of this channel are getting it. Let's recap. There's two ways for things to become law in the federal government. The first, Congress with a vote. Then, the other way is by executive order. The President of the United States doing it himself. Now, we talked about this early in this recording. Build back better how quickly that can get done and why it needs to be done right now. That's just a few weeks out, but no time to wait for these checks because these checks have been a law for about 30 days. I feature when a new check becomes law right for the membership of this channel. As soon as it becomes law, it's in the newsletter. Why is that so important? Because the check routing times are slowing down. You don't want to wait to become a member. You don't want to wait to get that newsletter. You don't want to wait to get these checks because guess what? This channel pulls in a lot of viewers, millions per week. And every time you wait to pounce, you wait to get this check, thousands of people potentially get in front of you in line to get the check from the state. That slows down the routing time. That slows down the payment. In the case of one of the checks I'm about to go over, it initially had a routing time about a one week. That one week has slowed down, some viewers have told me, ever since. So what's going on? Well, after the commercial break, I'm going to go over of that incredible state stimulus for stimulus check more in detail. Then we'll go over those two incredible presidential fourth stimulus checks landing by direct deposit. It can't be any better than that. It really is incredible great news. Then we have a very developing details about that student loan debt forgiveness. I believe this is the week in which you're likely to hear a follow-up to Jen Psaki's comments last week. 
Her final comment going to the weekend was huge. What did she say about student loan debt forgiveness? I got a big one on this one. Then we're going to talk about that six stimulus package and why the re-election of Macron last Sunday is so helpful for that six stimulus package. Oil, wheat, grain, and then my economic analysis tonight. Bear market, that's the least of our concerns. Stock market's crashing today. Housing starts down. What does this mean for your economy? What does this mean for your wallet? You understand that I've been recording for several months. We're going into recession. But what does that recession mean for your economy? What does it mean for the other elements at issue? Tonight, we'll go over more about that in detail because you'll be head of the ball game. As it was last year, I said we're going into 8% inflation by the end of December. We were. And tonight, I'm saying we're going into recession for two years starting next year. We are. What does that mean for you and your money? As we run into the second half, we're just getting started. But first, become a member of this channel. I'll see you back in 60 seconds with more of these incredible details. But first, here's a little bit about the community page on a big night in which the details are still coming in. I'll see you back in 60 seconds. If you want money right now, not five days from now, and not five weeks from now, then reach out to the community page. The volunteers can help you find that money for rent and utilities. That's at news.la.com forward slash community. The community page features a series of volunteers who are viewers like you. They can help you find rent, utilities, SNAP, food benefits, mortgage assistance, and help you with eviction moratorium questions as well. Their Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram individuals reach out to them and indicate the city and state you're from, and they'll get back to you shortly. That's a community page. Volunteers working for you, viewers helping one another. Stay with LA for more. Join LA Late Daily for the excitement of the new LA Late Live Daily. The excitement starts on mornings LA Late at 9 a.m. LA Late returns at 11 a.m. daily. And then afternoons LA Late at 1 p.m. Join us daily as the excitement continues live from Santa Monica on LA Late. And the excitement continues right now in the big second half for April 26, 2022 of Evenings LA, America's most watched show for financial news in prime time. Tonight, a lot going on with that six stimulus package. The allegiance of France, Germany, and the United States says that they're going to do a six stimulus package because of the recessionary concerns about across the board. But what does this mean for you and your money? All the latest details on that front tonight. Then we'll be going to that student loan debt forgiveness. More debt could be forgiven. But who's debt? All the latest on that. Bear market? Yes, we're already in it. If you saw the stock market today, if you saw it last week, what does this mean? It means the latest unraveling of an economy that's slowing down dramatically. But tonight, as we run into the second half, there's big money, and that big money are checks. Lots of checks. And I hope you became a member during the commercial break. If you haven't, make sure you do. Purple Hawk, Purple Power, or Calcino VIP. And now let's go into the big money kidding by direct deposit. States have now decided to give you stimulus checks. Why? Because use or lose. They got the money. It's sitting there, and they got to use it. And they're sending out checks. The status tonight, all featured in the membership newsletter, is that about 20 U.S. states have already dedicated by past bill or proposed bill a stimulus for you for the four stimulus week for the four stimulus package. Let's go over the details. The current landscape tonight for April 26 is there's about 20 states that have either passed a bill in the state or proposed a bill to be passed to provide you for stimulus. Let's go over the details. In the case of a passed bill, it means it's done. But in my opinion, a lot of states may do other things on top of that. Don't expect that to be the only thing your state's doing. Number two, in the case of states that have things proposed, expect that to happen. Because as recorded on this video, when the governor proposes something, it happens. He's a controlling party, she's a controlling party in that state. And generally, it's very quickly to get that money out the door. States like to spend money, especially if it's not theirs. So number three, 
what are the what are the gamut what are the spread what is what is the, the the vortex and what are this what is the possibilities of the different stimuluses they're all over the place in the case of some states it's an actual check in the case of those checks it is the same income qualifications we've always spoke about on this channel. Single individual, seventy-five thousand or less, you get it. Married couple, one hundred fifty thousand less, you get it, but it's double. Yeah, this one will be double. And then some cases they're paying it also to the children or the adult dependent. There you go. Now let's go to the next type of thing they're paying out. They're paying out sometimes what's called a tax refund. Let's go with the example. Let's say the tax refund is eight hundred dollars. And you file your tax return and you only owe $400. That means you get a refund back of $400. $400 you owe, but they're giving you $800. 400 minus $800 means $400 back to you. Let's say you owe $900 and it's a tax refund of $400. Then you only owe $500. Which tax returns are going off of? They're doing that differently as well. Some states are doing it on two, two tax returns. Some states are doing it as two tax refunds. And some states are just doing it on one tax refund. Next, states are sometimes doing stimulus packages where it is uh, something cheaper than what you normally pay for. For example, a tax holiday on gasoline. You don't have to pay taxes on the gasoline you pay at the pump for a series of months. That's another option of what they're doing. A lot of different things happen across the board. With 50 plus states, impossible to record about what's happening in every of those 50 states. But tonight, there's 20 states, and even that's impossible to put in this recording. That's why there's the benefit of the membership newsletter. The membership newsletter since last Thursday now features the 20-plus states. Currently, at the time of tonight's recording, 20, April 26, features the state, what they're doing, how they're doing it, when it starts, when it ends, is it a law, is it proposed, and everything you need to know. And as the data changes, it's also featured in the membership newsletter. It's so simple, as Carol once said on this channel two days ago, you make it so simple for everyone. You put it in a concise way, all lined up in that newsletter. And which check is this? This is check D. You go into the membership newsletter, and you go right to the first few lines, and the first few lines are the price of oil, corn, and wheat tonight. Then you have check A, check B, check C, and right after that, lower there, is the brand new check D. The newsletter is made even more simple than even a week ago. I now use the terminology check A, B, and C, and D in the newsletter. Again, these are my terminology. You don't call some up and say, where's my check D? <laughs> they may think you're pranking them. That's the terminology, my numbering system on this channel. That is your forced to most state check. And remember, if your, if your state hasn't done a check today, it may do a check tomorrow. We're not done there yet because I told you, that there's two ways to get checks from the federal government. The first one is by Congress. The second one is the president. And guess what? The president has sent out stimulus checks for that have landed by direct deposit, and they're huge. Let's go over the huge fourth stimulus executive order presidential checks starting right now. The first one is $6,500 to $12,000. It became law when the President of the United States took it out of the Build Back Better Act a few weeks ago and made it law by executive action. That means it doesn't need a vote. That means it's law. That means it's landing by direct deposit. And that means it immediately went to the membership newsletter that night. It's a $6,500 to $12,000 check. It is check A. Income qualification, you know this answer. I already said it earlier in the video. Single individual, 75000 less, you get it. Married couple, 150000 less, you get it. Now, you don't double this or triple this because this is per household. What is this? This is the homeowner's weatherizing grant check. Wow, that is great. How do you get it? Open the newsletter. Go right in those first few lines. Below it, it goes right into check A. It tells you more about the homeowner's weatherizing grant check. It tells you more about the eligibility and then has the link to apply. It's a simple online website you can do from your phone or your computer. You go right in there and you apply. It's the homeowner's weatherizing grant. First, it sends you to the national website. Then you choose your respective state like Tennessee. Then you apply. You look for the Tennessee weatherizing homeowner's grant check and you pounce and apply. 
We're not done there yet because the president has sent out another for stimulus check. It's landed by direct deposit. And this is fifteen to $80,000. What's important to note is that this check is paying enormous of money. 66000 to 80000 is what it's paying out to viewers of this channel. Eligibility, again, the same. A single individual, $75,000 less. A married couple, $150,000 or less. And it's just an enormous sum of money. I mean, if you think about the first three stimulus packages, for twelve hundred dollars, fourteen hundred dollars, six hundred dollars. This is that times tenfold. Look how much money it is. Where do you get this? Again, you go to the newsletter. Go down that membership newsletter. Look for check A. Then follow after that will be check obviously B, and you will see a link to apply for check B, the homeowners grant check. It'll send you into the national website with a map. You'll see the map. It'll look like this. Then choose your respective state, like New Mexico, pounce, and apply. The routing times initially when it went live was about one week. It's slowing down a little bit, so get your application in on file as quickly as possible. We're not done there yet because guess what? There's a third check, and that is check C. And that is an MSC check, MSC check so I should say plural, that averaging about $2,000 a month over 12 months, but on top of $45,000 when it first became law. Check A is the check that the president sent out by executive order. Check B is the check the president sent out by executive order. Check D is a check sent out by the states, by, by state stimulus. But tonight, we have a big surprise as, big surprise as third stimulus is still paying out. Yeah, use or lose, it's, there's that third stimulus, a lot of extra money. Let's go back to what happened in December 2020, because that's what's important for you to know. In December 2020, millions of Americans were struggling. There was no stimulus package. It had not gotten done between Steve Mnuchin and Nancy Pelosi, Temple of Doom. And I said, you need money. So let me find you some money. I found it. 250000 not a lot, but that's all that was around at the time, for rent and utilities. Help people like Tyrone and his family four out of Boston. Got them rent from December all the way to February. But in late December, I had a piece of, uh, of paper in my hand. It was a great exclusive. It was a proposal of a potential congressional bill that proposed to do the same program, rent utilities and mortgage assistance, just with a lot more money. And I called it third stimulus. I coined the expression like I coined the expression for fourth stimulus. And guess what happened? It became a law. When it became a law, I said to viewers, I think it could get you about $15,000 for this money. I was wrong because whammo, Look what happened. Viewers on average got $45,000 when third symbols became law from this channel. Everywhere else, other channels, broadcast news, print media, people thought that third symbols only had a $1,400 stimulus check in there. We laughed. We literally, as a community, laughed because I had been recording. No, there's a lot more money than $1,400 in there. No one's telling you that except me. And this is what happened. Elizabeth didn't get $1,400. She got $27,000. Look at Mark, $25,000. This is just for rent, folks. This is just for rent. Let's look at the utilities. $15,000 Mark's brother-in-law got for utilities. How about the SNAP? SNAP Mark's brother-in-law got $25,000 a year. A year. Over 10 years, he's getting a quarter million dollars because of my recordings. Let's look at the combo. OMG. OMG. Look at uh, Mark at $32,000. I said, Mark will get SNAP. He got SNAP. He went to $50,000. Then he got more money, went to 100000 Then he recently got one of the checks between A, B, and C. He went to 166000 He's not alone. Here's Lorraine. She was at one hundred five. She went to one twenty. Johnny started the week at a week at zero. By the, end, by the middle of the week, Wednesday, he had 45000 for three programs. By the end of the week, as a member, Johnny made 15 phone calls as a member and got eight programs approved at $80,000. Then he helped his two family members get $50,000 the next week. Then his neighbors all heard about what he was doing watching this channel. He had them come over, watch the channel together, and collectively got them over $300,000. These friends and family, neighbors across the street. A couple of them. Keep up with about 20 people. Huge. That was third stimulus. Then came the surprise. <laughs> then came the surprise. I had always told viewers get rounds, three or four months of this money. And they got it. They got it the round in spring of 2021, summer 2021, Christmas 2021. We call it Santa Stimulus. And then earlier this year, I said, go get another round, three to four more months. And viewers said, no. Excuse me? What do you mean, no? 
excuse me, you don't talk to me that way. <laughs> they said, no, I got 12 months. I said, 12 months? Who told you you can get 12 months of this money? They took the recordings and ran with it and understood, why do I have to ask this for three to four months? Give me a whole year. And they started getting paid a whole year. Some viewers got paid several years. And the numbers were absolutely incredible. $2,000 a month over 12 months. There you go. That is what viewers did themselves. How do you do it? You open the membership newsletter. In that membership newsletter, I go over those three, pl those 15 places you reach out to. They are your city hall, your city housing authority, your county hall, your county housing authority, your state hall, and your state housing authority. That's six to start. And then you reach out to the nonprofits. There's 15 of them. And there are absolutely incredible. Those nonprofits pick up the monies for rent and utilities and more. 15 places that a membership newsletter get it today. Become a member, Purple Hawk, Purple Power, or Calcino VIP. So that you get, there you go, that check C. You deserve it. You really do deserve it. $24,000 to $45,000 across the board. Tonight, you need to get these incredible checks. Check A, check B, check C, and check D, because you deserve it. And because the U.S. economy is really, really spiraling in a way in which people don't know, and there's no, no better time to become a member than right tonight. Tonight, the Wall Street cringing. The Wall Street nerves are heating up. Why? Because Wall Street took a tumble last Friday at 900 points down. Today it was down 600 points on Mornings LA when I was recording live on air. Bear market? Yeah. Bear market we're currently in. Many of the tech stocks are down to their levels, their worst levels of 2021 right now in 2022. Ouch. That's not to start because guess what? You're going to have two years of recession. In my opinion, I'm not alone. Recession means that the GDP will shrink from where it is now, now 6.9% to a negative number. And then what? Well, there's a lot going on. Let me explain what's going on. First, I said in October 2021, Halloween last year, that the biggest economic story of this year will be if Vladimir Putin, with those then 100,000 troops at the Ukrainian border, invades. He did, and it became the biggest economic story of the year. But at the moment, I'm seeing really the second biggest economic story this year is China. China's supply chain disruption is really out of control. China's on lockdown tonight, subvariant of Omicron. And now tonight, the breaking news is that if you look at cities like Shanghai, they're making a run on the supermarkets. Remember those earlier footage of Costco when the pandemic first hit here? Yeah, that's what it looks like there, but worse. There's nothing in the shelves. They're in line for three hours to get products. There's nothing left. Shanghai. Beijing, this is just a continuing narrative, and we're not done there yet. The subvariant of Omicron is spreading to Europe, and that supply chain disruption there could hurt us in a different way. Why? Because we have businesses that have factories in Europe, like the major three auto manufacturers. Then they can't get those products, those sub, those component parts like seatbelts. They can't get those products to make the cars. Suddenly, they can't make the cars. Suddenly, the profits of the businesses back home are going down. Suddenly, they may have to lay off people. This is why supply chain disruption is very, very, very troubling across the board. In the case of China, what I need to tell you tonight, China's supply chain disruption is very bad. We make goods there, and we ship it back, and then we buy their goods, and we ship them back here. It's the latest supply chain disruption, and until someone can solve it, and no one's been able to follow, solve any of the supply chain disruption, we have more inflation. Because Jay Powell's no tools in his toolbox to bring down supply chain disruption caused inflation. And then we have higher rates. Jay Powell's going to keep on raising those rates and the inflation is not going to go down. So your car payment, your uh, flexible mortgage loan, your credit card payment, it's all going to cost more money. As things cost more money, then what happens? You saw early in this recording that people are not taking more vacations because... They're for, oh, on the low, on, on people who make less than $50,000 because they can't afford it or they're worried about the inflationary pressures on their wallet. Tonight, there's a lot of people I'm worried about who aren't worried about anything. <laughs> Does that make sense? Let me say it again. There's a lot of people who only see things as rose-colored rose glasses. They think everything is great times abound and they don't understand how it's going to get very dark very quickly. Let me tell you what's going on. A... Report came out this morning, the, the S&P Case-Shiller Report, and it talked about 
how much did prices go up for homes in February 2021 to February 2022? Obviously, you know the price of homes went up in the last year. So this is a giving. They went up 20%. Okay. So some of the real estate analysts said, oh, this is great news. Look at the great news. Miami real estate went up 30% in one year. The value of homes in, in Tampa and Florida and Miami went up an average of 30% in one year, some cases 33%. And that's February, so we're doing really well. Wrong, let me tell you why. The data is delayed, the data is delayed. So these February numbers are released to you now in April. <laughs> That's the first obvious reason why the delay. You're seeing data from February and April. You're not seeing March data. Now let's make this even more clear. At the time in February, the mortgage rate was the same as it was last year. It was two. It was three percent mortgage rates for the thirty-year fix. Guess what the mortgage rate is now? Five, ten, five twenty. It's it's astronomical. The worst we've seen in 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 a generation. So these numbers mean absolutely nothing to the current status quo. They're delayed, number one. Number two, this was after mortgage rates kicked in. Yeah. So this is where people who look at the data and don't understand the notion of what's behind the data, that they're going to get burnt badly. Imagine someone who sees this data today and goes and buys in Miami saying, well, homes are just going through the roof. They're off 30% for a year today. I'm just going to buy because it's really good. And then you buy and then you can't sell. Now, one of the things I got to tell you tonight, it was breaking news, uh, brand new tonight, is that the thing that was the biggest indication of recession the last time we had a recession was product and no buyers. You have product and you have no buyers. Now, in the case of um, breakfast cereal and fresh fruits and vegetables, yeah, you'll always have those buyers. But when you talk about the housing market and you suddenly have the inventory growing quickly, meaning houses for sale and no one buying, then you see things changing very quickly. The data that came out today suggests there's a lot more houses on the market. And for the first time ever in the several months, there's no competing bids on homes for sales. So the competing bids are gone. Houses are starting to sit on the market. They're not selling. It's starting to build up. Remember, I say this to you in about three months from now. This is what recession looks like before KIPS comes to you. You initially have, before recession, the great times. There's one house for sale, and there's 20 buyers. Then you have two houses for sale, and there's four buyers. Now, tonight, it looks like the following. You have five homes for sales, and you have two buyers. Then the month from now, you'll have 20 homes for sale, and you'll have two buyers. And then after that, 30 homes for sales, and two, home bu and two buyers. Yeah, this is where the demand is going to fall because of the mortgage rate. People do not have the money when the mortgage rate is imbalanced. The data tonight comes from Ray, George Ray too as well. He's a managing director of research at Realtor. Today's S&P K. Schiller highlights a housing market experience a renewed sense of urgency in February as buyers work through a small number of homes for sale in an effort to get ahead of the surging mortgage rates. So they're smart, those buyers. They understood there weren't a lot of homes, but let's buy them before the mortgage rates get worse. The imbalance between strong demand and insufficient supply then push the prices higher. That's then, <laughs> not tonight. That is why what I want you to understand is you can't miss a recording. You cannot miss a recording because things are moving very quickly. First, you're going to see a lot more stimulus checks. You got a lot of states that have a lot of things to do, and they're going to move very, very quickly. Why? Because that midterm elections. Their midterm elections. State senators, state governors, state electorates. They're going to move very quickly. So you can't miss a single recording. You can't miss that membership link at the top of the chat to get that newsletter. You can't miss it because these state stimulus items are going to come out very, very quickly. And if you miss them, you miss them. In the case of those, those things that come off of the tax returns, you don't know about it. You don't get it. This is a little bit like that CTC check for the children. Remember, you had to say to the IRS, I had a child last year. I had a child during COVID. I had three children during COVID. I was very busy. And they're all with different parents. <laughs> Just, yeah, that's a reality TV show. That's a reality TV show. Now, uh, if you didn't tell them that, you didn't get the money. The situation is moving very quickly. Then when we talk about the federal stimulus checks, these programs are first come, first serve, folks. I can't express to you more importantly. You cannot wait to get these checks. This is first come, first serve. We did this in the earliest days of this channel, where Javita Carranza had EIDL grants open for two days, and they're gone. That's the same situation tonight. Then, on the front of where this economy is going, I need you to know exactly where the economy is at any particular moment, because it'll be dramatically different than 30 days before. 
Finally, personal message. Yesterday, we had the two-year anniversary of this channel, and uh, uh, the, the broadcast aired. It was a one-hour broadcast. First, behind the scenes, uh, 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 old footage brought back, then behind the scenes, then some laughs, and then some, uh, then some insight. I received a very nice message from a person last night. I don't want to tell you what the message said, but the message from someone, um, a, long, a, a long-standing viewer I did not know of, uh, sent to me on social media, said, you know what, um, I've had, I want to just sort of paraphrase it for you without giving you the details. I've had a very, very tough week in a very, very tough year. And I saw that recording and today, because it was aired last night, he was referring to today. Today I have something very difficult to do in my life and it would re- define my future um, medically. And that video really cheered me up. It was something that I really needed, that viewer said. So I really, really appreciate it. Um, I appreciate all your comments. I appreciate all the insight, insight. And your requests, your 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 desires of what you want on the channel, keep on sending them in. Keep on sending them in to me on social media, on private messaging. I've heard them. Uh, your cast of characters, you went back. They're coming on back one at a time. Uh, for now, we're just hoping all the flowers keep on coming back. <laughs> Die on me, flowers. It's been very hot here, so it's just been a, a very, very difficult task to get you the stimulus and keep the flowers living. <laughs> and with that, join me out throughout the night. We got more shows coming up. We have evenings at late every night at five o'clock Pacific Standard Time. Don't miss that. That's the major show, America's most watched show for financial news every night at five o'clock. Then we have evenings countdown at six o'clock. We have street and stimulus at seven o'clock. Evenings extra at eight o'clock, and then evening sunset at nine o'clock. Don't also forget that overnight show, Evenings LA Late Live. Moreover, don't forget to become a member. Now, when you become a member, also go to the Furnace channel and subscribe. Make sure you subscribe. Hit that subscribe button as well. Then there's a little bell at the front of the channel. Hit that bell button so that you have signed up for all alerts on YouTube. The alert button should be set to all so you get all notifications across the board. From the shores of Santa Monica, California, to the shores of the Black Sea, from the East Coast to the West Coast, it's a big nine, and it's just getting started on a big week. There's so much to happen, whether it's a bear market or a bull market. As one viewer said, I missed the dancing bear. It was dancing pear, not dancing bear. But we can't do everything right. <laughs> stay informed, stay focused. Have a beautiful night, and stay here. Join me nightly, and stay with LA for more.